Hi folks, after a long time, we are back again. Uh, this is the rooftop of the Biological Sciences Building in IIC. Uh, I am happy to tell you that I have passed my comprehensive examination. It went well, it went good. Uh, so, what exactly happens during a comprehensive examination is that uh, I have to make a work presentation for about an hour. Like what exactly I am doing, what is the biology component, what is the engineering component in that. And then uh, I had to give a few courses that I am interested in being quizzed about. Uh, so there is there was another hour of uh, coursework questions that were asked. I was grilled uh, extensively in microfabrication and uh, cancer biology. And at the end of it, they asked me to wait outside. They made a decision. They called me back inside and told that, okay, Anil, you have passed the comprehensive examination. So I'm, this is a big relief for me. As you might have seen in my previous video, I was quite tensed about uh, what would be the outcome of the comprehensive examination be. Uh, so I'm happy this is morning 7 o'clock, 7.15 in Bangalore because it's summer, it's pretty uh, hot these days. Uh, I just thought I will make a video here uh, and then start off the new season as you might call. Uh, many of many people are applying for master's degrees, PhD programs I understand and many of you have asked questions. I will be actively responding to those in the coming few days. I hope I am not too late. And Apart from that, what I will be doing is, I have many friends in campus who are doing different types of courses. I would like to have short, I would like to post uh, short interviews with them uh, about their journey into IISC and what they are going through right now and how it is how it is going for them. Uh, I hope that would be helpful for you guys. Uh, this is a short video, I am not going into the details uh, like before, but uh, please have, uh, please uh, go through it. Uh, as there will be follow up videos as I have said and as one of you had asked me how to write SOP for several M.Tech programs now because these days they are asking for SOPs I will cover that also I have seen your question I will uh, make a short video on that and uh, yeah all the best good times ahead I wanted to convey this uh, information to you that uh, I have passed my comprehensive examination uh, so uh, that is one big step uh, in a PhD life because Till you pass your comprehensive examination, you are just a student of the institute. You are not actually somebody who is registered for PhD. Uh, so, so now they, they, I am officially a pers student pursuing a PhD problem, I identified PhD problem in IISC. Uh, so I have another two to three years to finish this off. Apart from that, there is a monetary side also. When you join for for the first two years, you get one pay by pay structure, which is JRF structure. And once you pass your comprehensive examination and after two, two years, you start getting the uh, senior research fellowship uh, uh, payment, basically, your fellowship. So I was getting 25,000, which got revised to 31,000. And now, since I have completed my comprehensive examination, from the moment I complete my two years, which is 2017 August, from that time onwards, I will get 35,000 rupees per month. Uh, uh, money is also very important, as all of you know. Uh, especially at my age where I have come to do PhD after a lot of uh, churns in life by doing work, work, uh, working in multiple companies, preparing for other exams. Uh, money is important because you have to take care of a lot of people in life. That's why I'm coming to that point also. So I was extremely tensed actually. I did not sleep for three days before the comprehensive examination. I think that excitement you are seeing, in my, uh, the excitement and relief you are able to see. Uh, so I thought I will uh, post, uh, record a video from somewhere else unique. Uh, now what I will do is, that's all from my side in this video this time. Uh, I, I will try to actively contribute more and try to answer all of your queries, most of your queries because uh, this is for you guys basically. Uh, please post, ask comments to multiple videos or in the community section in the channel as to what kind of uh, content do you want to see especially considering that this is admission time uh, there are a lot of things that I can talk about and uh, at least if I am not aware I can talk to people on campus or even interview them and uh, get that information for you uh, I hope you understand that point I have at least that access here uh, so try to make use of that uh, post comments asking what you want from me and I shall make it available to the best of my abilities to you uh, I will leave you with the bird's eye view or rooftop view from the biological science building of IIC Bangalore good time ahead guys so as you can see uh, this is the biological sciences building rooftop so uh, nothing exciting here mostly water supply and tanks but uh, so they have a uh, that is the rooftop of the second floor. I am on top of the uh, 
third floor now my that 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 building that you see right over there that is my bioengineering uh, department so here uh, there are four in the biological sciences building there are four uh, department more than four departments molecular and cell biology molecular reproduction development and genetics biochemistry uh, center for ecological sciences and uh, my department biosystem science and engineering so that uh, building that you see over there is the new building that's coming up i think it is for aerospace uh, that one is a famous uh, sense uh, building uh, the center for nano science and engineering uh, that is their parking over there uh, let's see what else is there So guys, uh, like uh, if I if I talk about what happens in a comprehensive examination, it was very quite nerve-wracking for me. So there are two uh, Senate nominees that are there. So that building right over there, that blue building, is a World Trade Center in Ashantpur. Uh, that is where Amazon Bangalore is is and a lot of other companies as well. But mostly uh, financial oriented companies are there. Uh, not so much uh, tech companies are there in this part of the city. So if I go to the roadside view of this place, because uh, the biological census building is quite close to one of the gates in IASC. So let's look at, have a look at the outside road for a second. That's a church outside, uh, outside the campus, just outside the campus. And those are the residential areas there. I live outside, somewhere readily behind this church is where I live. So you can see the World Trade Center again. Yeah, nothing that much interesting. Lot of departments you can see from here basically. Uh, that's the aerospace building, that's a new aerospace building, physics building, aerospace building and a uh, lot of other buildings from the other side of campus also uh, that's the idea guys uh, yeah i think i will start off with the uh, next video about uh, interview and written exam preparation i just woke up from bed i thought i'll make this video good morning by the way and uh, then we would go to the sop and then i'll talk, talk to people about their experience in getting into iisc and uh, experience in iisc and uh, hope that would be useful for you